Hello and welcome back to Ghost in the Shell Sandline Complex for Salt Online, where we just recovered from the blue screen of death. <laughs> I mean, that's something new that hasn't happened before, but yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I had previously explained that the frame rate stuttering might be just OBS because there is a lot of frame rate stuttering in the videos, but there's not a lot I can do about because it's the best I can capture. Unfortunately, I don't know what capture software other people use to capture all the frames, but I've tried messing about with the settings and upping the frame rate. And that just affects gameplay in all games and recording as well. It makes it stutter worse in some instances, which is crazy. So yeah, let's dive into a match here and hope that we don't get another blue screen of death. I mean, loaded up. And then I was like, what the hell, is my monitor dies? And then blue screen to death. So yeah, bear in mind that frame rate issues that you might see will just be... I wonder if this is the same match that we were diving into before. <laughs> it's like Terminal Conquest and Tachycoma have just been released. So maybe Tachycoma being released at the same time as spawning in when you've just joined the game. Affect things? I don't know. I said, what do I do now? And then to like crash. Unfortunately, with the way OBS works, if your computer crashes during recording, you lose that entire recording, so I can't even show you that, unfortunately. But yeah, that was strange and half, but bear in mind, because it says on the update news that frame rate issues <laughs> have been messed with. So yeah, it might not be that because it runs smooth and plays smooth, it's just you don't necessarily see it as smooth as I'm seeing it. I mean, you definitely don't see it as smooth as I'm seeing it. Guarantee you that, because I've looked at my video recordings and I'm like, what the hell, what's this jumping and jankiness? But I don't see that when I'm playing. I do get some delay in movements, obviously, because you know, my gameplay is better when we're not recording. But, you know, there's not a lot I can do about that. I can't exactly show you <laughs> the gameplay of me not recording, because... How do I then show it to you if I'm not recording? Let's go. Right, my... <laughs> Defeated in an instance. My sensitivity seems to be down as well, so I might have to turn that up a bit. But again, recording sensitivity, yeah, it goes down. But updates also reset it, so... To XP for doing nothing. Ooh. So we got some XP. I guess it depends on how much you do in the game. We ran like two steps. Yeah, of course we're the lowest. I mean, come on. We just joined the game at the end of the game. Right, let's go back to the match. Oh my god. Get me to the options. Thank you. Options. My sensitivity is. I turned it up last time to try and combat the in game sensitivity. Obviously, the game crashed then, but hey, I'm not going to go to the ghost screen, let's consider it. These things are still in development. There's lots of things in development. Again, if you want to check out the news, read the news. We're not doing team deathmatch. Come on, terminal conquest. Or demolition. I'd go demolition, but team deathmatch is probably not the best for. <laughs> recording. So yeah, apologies for the ultra long intro with diving into another match because we dove in right at the end. It was probably still the same match that we were on before to be honest but you didn't see that but it couldn't have been really because my computer takes a long time to reload. Oh we ended up with team death match anyway. Pardon me. So yeah I hope I've explained everything clearly enough. It's not just early access issues, a lot of it is OBS issues, and well, 4v5. We're going to be in for a hard time here. So yeah, the gameplay is a lot smoother and runs a lot smoother when you're not recording. Things to bear in mind, so, you know, the game is good to play, fun to play. Otherwise I wouldn't have recorded so many episodes, I mean, come on. So yeah, definitely go consider buying it if you're interested. And like, you can surely see that even if there is stuttering, I know I'm sort of rubbing against that wall a bit, contra 
to what I'm saying that, you know, there may be issues but you can see that I'm not suffering from them in my gameplay because I'm not doing stupid things even though I couldn't jump up that thing. It looked high enough to jump on I guess that's just an object too. Or with an invisible wall that you can't get out of. Yes, map. Right. <laughs> this map is the one that always goes to a long drawn out draw. Like that guy's our guy. Okay, we are getting some stutter in there, but you know, it's just the odd stutter. Right. I thought that boat shit man. Right. Sort of concentrating a bit. And they shoot me rather than the other guys. Typical. So I always get I'm the heat seeker for the bullets. But I did mention the last bit that got chopped off as well because of broken Oh we're on the other side for once. Interesting. I've never been on this side. Seriously? Damn it. <laughs> Good double teaming him though. But still. Yeah, they've um, removed a lot of the cheats as well, so there were people cheating, but they've banned them, so... Should be less cheats now, you know, no instant knowing exactly where everyone is as they come around the corners. For example, he didn't know where I was. I got that awesome grenade shot. I'm sorry, blind... This map's perfect for Call of Duty blind grenades, though, to be honest. It's like you can pretty much guarantee where people are going to be. Like, there's not many places they can be maps rather so I'm shooting between his legs because I can. Damn the sniper. Right. Now that we know that that sniper's there though, I can just get a good bank in there without exposing myself to too much danger. Damn it, missed my shot. Who hit me though? Whoever got me, that was a impressive shot. Right, I was drinking my cup of tea there, so handed off the last bit. Right, I need to play smarter. Spawn camping. Wasn't expecting that. Right. So they've pushed up. I really should have been paying attention to my mini map. I probably would have seen him there. Right. Play smart. He's in there. Pre firing as well. <laughs> you know, we knew you were there. You couldn't hide waiting. That sentry should be alright for preventing their BS. Now. Damn it. Sensitivity, I couldn't move as much as I wanted to. Did I get an assist on my own turret? That is impressive. <laughs> like, assist to your own turret kill. Did that get in? I don't think it did. Right. I need higher sensitivity than. It appears I can get. <laughs> like 59 should be really high. I mean, it definitely would be outside the corner, but I just can't move as fast as I need to. Right. They took down my sentry, or did it run out of time? Right. Pay attention to your mini map as well. I, I'm really bad. Okay. God damn it, sensitivity. Did that guy get in? Yeah. Or not. Alright, he's coming out. Ah, too slow. Couldn't move quick enough. <laughs> I knew he was coming. I even saw him, but I just couldn't move quick enough. Well, we got a few shots on him. I hope not. I mean, I don't know if they hit. <laughs> right, they are in our camp. So let's just nade up there. That should hopefully hit something, or at least scare them off a bit. Right, 
going a bit more sensibly and so right. Just gonna check out the area for camos. Because then some optic camels are did he take him out already? I saw that some optic user was rushing this way. He's there somewhere. Oh, shit. Worst time to reload. Wait, did he take him out? Uh, come on, did I not even get a single hit on him? Oh, I got the other guy. I was going to say, how could my assist got have counted? I did not know there were two of them hidden in there. So, good going on that for them, to be honest. But I'm going this way because we're not really representing. Yeah, I know I should have been grenading. I should have been ready with my trigger. Right, let's pull it back a bit. They're in. Oh, I saw him. Seeker drones, damn it. How do you have double seeker drones? Or are there two of them? You also seem to be camos from where his drones spawned from. Right, so I know he's in that corner, so I'm just gonna grenade him. And then work my way around to get a good spot on him. That's the worst place you could be putting up that maven wall. Come on, I see that thermoptic optic camo. Right, I'm pushing. We need the barrier a bit more further for to be honest. Maybe it helps with your sniping, I don't know. I'm sensing there's someone in that corner. Got an assist. That grenade's gonna turn it. <laughs> Nothing I could do. I couldn't outrun it. <laughs> so I accepted my fate. Hey, we brought it back! 8300s! Alright. This is why I have to be a bit more careful and less stupid. Because the deaths matter. Sensors. Get that out there. That should help cover him a bit. Oh, 87 to 87. But still, if we drop back, my turret will take care of anyone watching him through, actually. So I'm going to watch this size. I know he's in there. I thought he might be hiding that isn't he? Well, we were already dead. 93 to 92. Is my turret still up? Right. I should just hold back a bit because it's just smart to not rush in and die. Not this close to victory. We should hold it back and wait for them to push. There we go. That was really close though. I'm surprised how well we brought it back to be honest. That was pretty embarrassing at times for me. Did I get many kills? I mean I could have picked a few others if I had a bit faster sensitivity. Even turned it up. I thought I turned it up enough. Still I'm getting molasses. Oh well. We're gonna take the middle. There is an skill overload event at the moment so we're getting even more skills pacifist really <laughs> i guess my kdr was way down it was the worst in the match so yeah that's why i needed to stop rushing in even yeah two and five not good right so join us next time for some more thanks for watching goodbye